This week marks one year since the deadliest wildfire in California history. The campfire started November 8th of last year, consuming the town of Paradise and claiming 85 lives. The flames torched 153,000 acres and destroyed 18,000 structures. And tonight, those who live through the nightmare are facing the firestorm again. CBS 13's Rick Boone is in Paradise with the big screen account of that hellish day. Yeah, inside this church is a form of healing along with a movie release. Residents looking back at what happened to them in this town of Paradise and understanding what may have fueled all those flames. The stakes and the flames grow higher. The film Inside the Megafire on the screen at Paradise Alliance Church, a documentary with a worldwide premiere in the town it highlights. And we found ourselves right in the middle of the campfire. It was truly. You know, I've covered a lot of fires over my 38-year career. There was nothing like this. Former network journalist Miles O'Brien, now filmmaker, details what it was like to go through this devastating fire and what he says what really fueled it. It's not just climate change. There's a whole big picture here. It has a lot to do with how we manage our forests, how we've been putting out fires aggressively for 100 years. It has a lot to do with people moving into the forest. 85 people died in the fire. More than 11,000 homes burned in paradise, about 90% of the total. Today, some people have moved back in. I lost everything except my two cars. I was able to save two cars, two computers out of six, and one pair of Levi's, one pair of shoes, one pair of underwear. He's one of the few remaining and a resident who played a role in the documentary. He did it out of respect for so many lives lost and property now gone. It's very hard for me to watch. I'm probably going to be sitting outside during the film. And not all the answers are in this documentary. In fact, some say a lot were left out. But the people living every day in paradise say what happened to them is an individual horror each and every one of them are living with every single day. Rick, thanks. Looking at Paradise one year after the campfire tore through that city, we wanted to know how many people are actually living there now. Well, we're getting answers for you tonight. According to the deputy city clerk, back in 2010, Paradise had just over 26,000 residents. Today, that number is down to just 3,500 based on the number of houses, RVs, and mobile homes. Staying on topic here today, the Butte County Sheriff's Office unveiled some new badges commemorating the campfire. The badges include a seal showing the Honey Run Covered Bridge, which is, of course, an iconic structure built in the 1800s that was destroyed in this fire. There's now an effort underway to rebuild it. The badges also include the phrases Campfire 2018 and Butte Strong.